Steve here, and this is the housing for the Smack Cell, the Smack Booster, uh, courtesy of Electric Ride. And uh, he's got free plans, so check out his site. Uh, and it's got all the directions, the instructions, the parts you need, and the whole nine yards. Um, what's interesting though is that some people have asked me, and they said, this part right here, this 90 degree elbow, uh, how do you drill it? How do you tap it? Uh, and to be honest with you, before I started all this, I had no idea. So I had a lot of, a few trial and errors, let's put it that way. So anyway, uh, like I said, a few people have asked me how I was able to do this or how to do this. And I'm going to show you how I did it and how it works. And maybe it's not the correct way, but um, it's drilled, it's tapped, uh, and it's on there, and it doesn't leak. So I'm um, counting that as uh, one way to do it. So let's take a look. First thing you're going to need uh, is, of course, a uh, tap and die set. Uh, pick this up from like Harbor Freight for like 10 or 12 bucks, something like that. Uh, you don't even have to get ones that are this big. You can get them where they just have the, the taps. Um, so you'll need that. You'll also need uh, a set of drill bits. And of course, you'll need your, your elbow. And then, of course, you'll need a drill. And basically, instead of trying to say, okay, hey, you need this size of drill bit for this size elbow, um, this is the way I did it. Basically, I just went through my drill bits like this, and I took my elbow and I took the drill bit that would fit the inside diameter of my elbow. And so, let's see if you get that a little bit closer. So basically, this isn't as big as the outside diameter, but it's just as big as the inside diameter. And then what would happen next is that after I drill the hole, then what I'll do is I'll ream out the rest of the hole with the tap set of whatever size that, again, I'm going to take my elbow, I'm going to take my tap, and I'm going to marry those up and see that the threads match. And bueno. So anyway. That's how I did it. I didn't do it by sizes. I didn't do it, so don't get excited. I'm not that smart. Um, but I'll show you how I did it, and it works out really well. Got a piece of scrap, uh, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drill a hole. And again, be careful whenever you're using electric tools. Okay. Too easy. All right. Next thing we want to do, now that we have our hole, um, we got our hole there, now what we want to do is take our tap, and again the one that we picked out, we're going to use this little high speed Uzi tap tool. Put it in just like so. And let me stand up a little. And again, that's the hole that we want to do. And you want to start off kind of slow and steady because uh, when it's first starting, try to get it at just, just right. And then as you turn, it'll bore out, bore it out and take the excess PVC and it'll actually start putting the thread into the PVC as, oops, as it works its way through. And once it gets going, you can go faster. And you see how it's little pieces there. I just boring it out. And just continue that through, all the way through. So it gets fully threaded. all the way through and so what I'll do is I'll take that piece off take out the tab and then if we look I don't know if you can see that in the camera but there's threads in there and they again they match up the size uh, to our elbow and so all we have to do now is like I said before in my other video uh, I use great white joint compound or you can use uh, Teflon tape again I like uh, the great white uh, joint compound because it's rated up to 10,000 PSI and uh, it's some really good stuff. Uh, so anyway, and you just put your elbow threaded end, take it real nice and easy, 
goes in, fits like a glove. And again, with some type of uh, sealant, a seal on there, the Teflon tape or the joint compound, whatever you choose to use. I use the, the joint compound, and that's what you end up with. And like I said, um, haven't had one leak on me yet, so that's a good thing. And that's it. So, um, yeah, so this way, instead of telling you and saying, hey, this is how... This is the size of drill that you need for the smack booster. This is the size you need for this booster or this, or whatever. I found it easier just to match up the drill bit at the inside diameter of the elbow. And then once I've done that, find the, uh, the tap that is, fits the outside diameter, the threaded portion of your elbow, and, and to match the threads because there's bigger threads and then there's smaller fine threads. And uh, just go from there. So... And uh, that's how you do it. So anyway, hope that helps. And uh, I'm sure there's probably a more technical way and you can figure out sizes and the whole nine hoozy hoozy. But uh, this is, like I said, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but uh, this is how I do it. So anyway, I hope this helps. And I think it's about it. So have fun. Catch you later. Mm -hmm.